you're doing now, Rick. Oh no, you ever whacked your weenus on a door? I'm not gonna talk about whacking my weenus with you. Well, most guys do it. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions TV. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. And he holds the Instagram. Slap Twitter the dog. Twitter it's so juicy. Thank you from Patreon, Paul. Twitter account, ring the bell button, the Asian squad. Ow! Oh! Also on personal YouTube channels. Links right down there in the description. Bengali! We're doing it. Uh, it's a song. Uh, it's a Bengali song. Sweet. It's is from Shrey Goshal. Yay! I think it's okay. So these are the two names. I think this is the song name. Tom, Tomake. Tomak, and then oh. I think this is the film name. Peranita, and it's with Ritwik Chakraborty. The song is from the Bengali movie Peranita, and is sung by Shrey Goshal. Lyrics and music composed by Arco. The word Peranita means married woman. It stars Ritwik Chakraborty, one of the lead actors of Naga, Naga Kirtan and lead actor in Shabdo, and Subhashri Ganguly. It is directed by Subhashri's husband, Raj Chakraborty, who is a popular director in Bengali industry, mainly known for his commercial movies. So it's Tomake. What are you thinking of right now? Balabashi. It's just you. Because uh, Ami Tomake Balabashi is I love you. Isn't there a Hindi film, Pranita? Yeah, we've reacted to this song before, Payu Bol, with Sai Balikan and Vidya. We've reacted to that song, 100%. What? In, in the Hindi version? I th yeah, see? Okay, so we've reacted to the trailer and we've reacted to a song with Sai Balikan and Vidya. So there's a Hindi version of this Bengali film and we're now reacting to the Bengali. But this song is from 2019 in Bengali. So I think this film was way before. So it was a Hindi I... film that was then made in. No, it was a big Bing... yeah. yeah Hindi... It was a Hindi film first. Well, yeah, I don't know, unless Hindi stole it, and then I mean, it's Hindi stole it from somewhere, and then Bengali stole it from them. Or it's a completely different thing, and it's a common name like Guru. I don't know. You guys can let us. We shall know. see. We shall be the judges. Here we go. Trey Goshal. Gorgeous voices. And Ritwick. And Malden Jewish man. Dandi te chai, mundi te chai, shau tu kudhen shara khundi te chai, to maki. Oh, to maki. Yeah, you. Shau no shajai, niji ke harai. Oh, my God. 
speaks Bengali. We know, we know Tilotama. Tilotama? Yeah. That one seemed like it was getting you. That one killed me. <laughs> <laughs> All I saw from the, my peripherals was, ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you like that one, Rick? Yeah. Uh, tell us about it. What did, <laughs> what did it make you think of? I wonder. Uh, yeah. I just wasn't really focusing at all on the visuals. I was looking at the words and listening to the song and hearing it in her mother tongue. And I just, I forget miss her so much. <laughs> oh. Congrats guys, you made him cry. What a feat. <laughs> and all, of, all of those words, yeah. It's a, uh, that's true. Is, um, is, um, um, Shreya, she's Bengali, right? We figured mm -hmm. it out, right? She's in Bengali. Yeah, she's Bengali. Singer. Why haven't we interviewed her yet? Like, what's up? I don't know. Doesn't doesn't Nandrani know her? I don't know. Wait, do you think all Bengalis know each other? Do they not? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know because she knows Tilatama. They talk to each other. They're, well, they, Tilatama's they're together. They meet. Yeah. Well, maybe. Did you meet Tilatama? Oh, uh, yeah. Did, did, you did. You just don't know it. Which one? In Delhi. Well, you also thought we met this other. No, I know this one for sure. <laughs> <laughs> There were, there were a couple of Bengalis that were in New Delhi besides Rohan. Because <laughs> Rohan lives there, even though he speaks. He I remember it. But yeah, there were a couple of girls that were from... Small girl? Yes, small. It was her? Yes. Okay. That's Tilatama. Oh, hi, Tilatama. Hi! So, yes, she she uh, is regularly, you know, communicating with uh, Indrani, and they've met. There's been... Bengali stupid babies have, have met in Calcutta, just mm. as a group together. So, thank you for doing that. But yeah, that killed me. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Well, what? What part of it? <laughs> Every, Can you relate to any of it? One hundred percent. And I don't. I don't go to bed with with a picture. I'm able to go to bed thanks to technology. I get to see her mm -hmm. when I, you know, when I go to bed through the phone. But man, you know, for two people, our primary love languages for both of us are exactly the same. It's words of affirmation and physical touch. And so, to not be physically present, it, I literally, as I just said that, I got to ache right here so it sucks but hey once one day closer one day closer to being together so thanks for destroying me you're welcome i'm trying to figure out what my love languages are uh, well there's five what are they they are uh words of affirmation no. you'll have a primary in a second That's right not i think i can pretty much guess what yours are words of affirmation no physical touch maybe quality time maybe acts of service where you you do things together Okay, but is that for me or f what I like? It, it, both. What you like to do for what you, how you like to express it, and how you like to receive it. They're often similar. And then uh, gifts. Oh no, it's not that. Yeah. So it's either you like you like to give gifts or receive gifts, and that communicates well wow, genuine love. No, I don't like getting gifts. Okay. Acts of service, like somebody I, does something for you. I like to do it for other people. Okay. I don't yeah. like it being done for me. Right. Quality time. Yes. Yeah, I would say, of course. I bet, I bet your primary love language is time. Yeah, time. Spending time together. And physical touch with my woman. Yeah, well, that's... Because I like to touch her. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, I'd assume those would be mine, but the ones I like... Yeah, that you like to receive. Because it doesn't have to be the same. They often are. For me, it's exactly the same. Well, I like... I love the ones, those are the ones I think I like. For me but the ones i like to give i like to actually give service i think and i also i enjoy giving gifts mm -hmm. to my wife uh yeah. <laughs> and is that a love language for her does she like to receive gifts like she knows if she receives oh okay no i mean she she appreciates she appreciates them, them but it doesn't flow no the, her hers is physical touch and words of affirmation yeah 100 100 <laughs> yeah that is not mine yeah. No, I guarantee. I knew for sure those were not yours. I know she knows them, but she probably knows the ones I am. Yeah. Very well. But I, here's a beautiful thing about I that. I don't know them at all. Though yours are not physical yeah. touch and words of affirmation. No, I like physical touch. Okay, they are. By her. Well, yeah. Nobody else. No, of course don't not. Don't touch me. This ever. is your love relationship. Don't your touch me. Your intimate love relationship. 
That's what we're talking about. Don't touch me. No, I don't. I mean, I. There's people I love. I don't want touching me that way. No, you like more people touching me than I like touching. It's me. true. I like to be touched. No. Yeah, she. I think because she, she knows the love languages. I don't. So she'd probably be able to tell you which ones I am. I'm. I'm sure it's. Yeah. I'm. I'm sure it's quality. But time. I know I don't. It's not words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. It's not gifts in terms of receiving. Right. It's not gifts. No, I've got not service. Quality time. I bet it's quality time and 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 uh, they're combined. If you were to do something with Stephanie that you're helping others together, mm. that that would be a bonding time for you and your wife, mm. where the two of you get to spend time together helping other people, like serving other people, you would feel a bond that happens with your wife doing that side by side. Maybe. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I think it leans toward. I, it's definitely not words of affirmation. No. You could care less about that. I don't need anybody else's words. <laughs> well, what about hers? Do you need that? Like, if you went oh, a yeah. month and she didn't say "I love you," would that bother you? Oh, yeah, but well, um, then you are words of affirmation. No, but that's just people who don't need words of affirmation could go ten years without the loved one saying "I love you," and it would be like, I don't no, care. I mean, I wouldn't. I would, which is weird. To I me. probably wouldn't notice, but it, I mean, I like it when she says, and like the only people like if I'm doing something that. Like, like if I'm doing a performance, I would like her affirmation. Affirmation yeah. that she enjoyed it. Nobody right. else, I don't really give a shit. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't, I don't care. No, when we're talking about your love language, it's with your significant other. No, but yeah, I wouldn't say that's my, like, because I feel like words of affirmation is like people that need to be like, I love you. Like, right, right, right. They need to be told all the well, time. Well, there's an like, unhealthy level of that as well. That can happen. But yeah, it's definitely not that one. Yeah. Anyways, that's all. Any old hey. Let us know your love language down below. And. <laughs> <laughs>